Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up auto layout in Figma to create responsive React components with Quest. I'm also going to show you how to use variants to set up different breakpoints. In this example here, I'm going to use just the nav bar, and you can see in this example, it's responsive. The, con the logo is on the left, the content, the links are on the right, and hugging it to the screen, no matter how wide it is. I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. To begin, we're going to set up a frame. And I'm just going to draw that out. What I want to do is make that 1440 wide. Uh, and I'm going to do, let's say, 50 pixels tall. 1440 is standard for desktop. It's just a good size to, to design around. Figma recommends that. I recommend it as well. Um, the first thing we're going to do is just put the logo in. I'm just going to copy and paste this from the demo here. And just to quickly get it, you can use anything you want. Just putting our Quest logo right here on the left. Over here on the right, I'm going to start setting up the links with some text. Let's say contact about team. And I'm going to set up a button. I'm going to use a frame to do this. And so I'm drawing this out. I'm going to add the fill. Let's pick a nice blue. Add some roundness to make it feel like a button. Add some text in the middle there, just dragging that in. I'm going to say by now. And I'm going to change the color. So something like that. The first auto layout frame we're going to do is this here. I'm just going to go up to auto layout, press the button. It does a nice little setup for you. I'm actually going to adjust this a little bit. I'm going to center the text just in case. I'm also going to do 20 pixels on each side. And I want the button to be a little bit taller, so let's say eight, eight, nice fat button, easy to click. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is then just select all this content here and make a group out of it. So I'm just gonna hit Command G and I'm gonna go to Auto Layout, then hit the button, plus button. Now we have the content here. I am going to change it, it should not be top aligned, I want it centered. And there we go. Also, I'm going to say 30 pixels instead of 36. I don't want it too spaced out. And I'm just going to kind of position it like this, make it look nice. Now, this looks good, but it's not responsive just yet. So what we're going to do over here, same thing. Command G, uh, press the auto layout button here. Done. Some of these steps are not necessary, just part of the process. Um, just to get in the habit, everything should be auto layout. So just doing it to everything. For this, I'm going to call left side, and this is going to be right side. And it's really important in Quest that you that you label everything, right? So if you're going to give this to your dev, it's important that it doesn't just say frame five or frame seven or whatever it's going to be. It's important that you label it. It's going to be much easier for everybody to manage it later. So highly encourage you to do this. It's not necessary, but uh, a good workflow for sure. Again, at the top, I'm going to just say this is nav bar. And I'm going to go up to auto layout and hit the plus button. Now, a couple of things here. This is not responsive yet. As you can see, it just kind of crops it off. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to hit center so that the content actually centers nicely. The logo is a little bit uh, to the top with the padding, so just centering it. And also down here, instead of packed, we don't want 900 pixels absolute between the logo and the content. We want space between. What that does is now it's proportional. So when I drag it, now it's nice and responsive. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just make this a component here at the top. So just click on that, now it's a component. Everything that goes in the quest needs to be a component, a main component. And so that's just the, the step to go. So that converts your Figma component into a React component. That's the philosophy. So that's why we do it this way. Um, also, that's great. We could actually export this, but I wanna just do one more thing. So we have this section here, and I forgot to name this button, just do that. I wanna add a hamburger menu. So I'm just gonna draw that out here. So let's just zoom in and make a hamburger. Now I'm gonna 
I'm going to group this and I'm going to call it hamburger. And I'm going to show you one thing. Instead of making this an auto layout frame, what I really want to do is make this like a graphic. So this is essentially just one piece. It's a graphic. It doesn't matter how it's laid out. So traditional workflows, you use the export settings here to kind of export a PNG. What I'm going to do is just use this, turn it on, set it to 2x, and I'm not going to press this. What Quest will do later is it's going to export that for me. So anything that you set, any group or frame you set with an export setting, it can have any kind of complicated layout. It does not need to be able to layout. It will be extracted as a JPEG or a PNG, or those are the two options. So in this case, I'm making it a PNG. Uh, maybe make this a little tighter. And what I'm going to do here is drag that into this. I'm going to say put it right here. Now, the reason I'm doing that is I don't need it in desktop, but I do need it in mobile. So I'm putting it in here for now, and I'll show you why in a second. So I'm just going to turn it off. Now, the next thing we're going to do to make a mobile version is we're going to go over to Variants. And I just press that plus button. And here I'm going to call it Mobile. Right, but I'm going to click on the main component again, and you're going to see your options. It says Property 1. I'm just going to say Screen, and I'm going to call Default Desktop. Now I have two different versions. You don't need to name it this specifically. This is just for your developer to see what it is later. So up to you how you want to name it, but just for now, just easy to understand it. So now we have the mobile version. So I'm going to click on that. Mobile's traditionally 375. So I'm going to do that. But as you can see, that's the problem is the links all got kind of squished. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide these links and I'm going to turn on the hamburger and even turn off the button. Now, this has hug contents on. So this is great, but it does have hug contents. Maybe I don't want it to hug the contents. I want it to be a fixed size, and I'm going to just change this back to like 50. Uh, so when you're developing variants in, in Figma, if you want to bring them into Quest, what you need to do is make sure that all the layers are exactly the same, and it's just a matter of showing or hiding things. You can adjust um, size. You can adjust color. You can adjust... Uh, you know, any kind of other options inside of here, like a stroke or effects, all that stuff will be automatically taken into Quest and it'll be different states in the inside of in Quest. And I'll show you that in a second. But so basically what this is doing is we're bringing it in and there's two different breakpoints and those are the two different states for this component. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the plugin, bring this into Quest. And just hit export, and that's going to bring it into Quest. And it should only take a minute, actually a few seconds. Let's just hit view. And now you can see what's inside here in this editor. This is actual React. This is not a prototype. This is what it looks like. This is what it will look like in your product. So whatever you created in Figma, you can always come in here and double check that this is what you want it to look like. And this is the desktop version. And you can just come up in here and any other variants that you make, you'll see them here in this dropdown. Uh, otherwise, if you don't have variants, you won't see this dropdown. So you can just check out the mobile. And there you go. And you're done. And that's how you would set up responsive components for Figma in Figma that are React components that are responsive and completely works with uh, breakpoints as well. So there you go.